So I want to repot this plant. This is um, Cattleya trianii patricia by full moon. It is growing out of the pot, as you can see. And if I leave it down, it's just going to fall. So I have to rest it against this pot so that it, it won't fall down. So it's been... So it's, I need to repot it. So like I said, I pulled it out of the pot and it's in another basket pot. And you can see the roots are like all around the pot. And the roots have green tips. That means they're healthy roots are growing. But in the case of Cattleyas, if I repot it, these roots pretty much will die on its own. And the reason I want to repot it now is because it's putting out new growths over here there is one new growth here and another one here and i was trying to clean out the sheet and you could see there is another eye over there although i doubt it's gonna grow unless if this one breaks this one will grow but either way it's, it's been growing up and out of the media and I do need to repot it. So I took a couple of pots. I don't know what size is. I think this is six and probably this is an eight. I'm not sure. And I went to try to put it in here. And as you can see, it barely fits in there. This new growth is jutting out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak it in a bucket of water. So that the roots can soak up and um, I'm going to come back in a few hours maybe three four hours and that way it'll make the roots very pliable and it won't break and if I have to repot it into this pot or depending on the on how the root system is and how it goes I'm going to play it by ear so I'll come back and we'll decide what to do Okay, so now this orchid has been soaking in this water for a while now. I think it's uh, been in this water for three to four hours. Let me take the label out. You want to keep this safe. You don't want to lose it. You can see the roots are just... There is no way I'm going to be able to untangle all of these roots and not break them. See, all these are new, young, new growth, new roots, and they're branching. I can try to cut this part out. Let me see. That will work. Okay, let me see if I can get this roots free from this end. Looks like it. I might be able to pull it off, maybe, without breaking too many roots. So there is one root coming out over here. Maybe it could cut. See this this end of the of the secateurs is not sharp. This is the sharp side. So even if I do put it in the pot like this it shouldn't Cut the roots off if I'm careful. This is a nice young 
root, so we get them out. That that should do. So I'm actually cutting. I was going to try to see if I can pull it down without having to break the basket, but this scissors seems to cut good, so I'd rather. cut the pot and try and get the roots out and try to damage the roots. are old roots, I could just cut them off. The idea that I'm cutting the pot is trying to see if I can save as much of the roots as possible without causing any damage to the roots. Though I'm sure some of them will get damaged in this process. Um, that's inevitable. And sorry for all the squeaky noises that I'm making. basket out. Mm -hmm. 
There's still a few more roots still growing through the basket. So anyway, got so far, so might as well cut them all out. These are the last three that's still in there. This I'm just going to cut it because it's not that good anyway. So here we are. Lost some roots by the cutting process, but not as bad as it thought. There's more roots. Now these are nice. They're not gone bad. They're really good. So I might reuse them. So now the question is what roots are good and what am I going to cut off? So usually the ones and by the old pseudobulbs and rhizomes are usually old roots, not pliable. So you can cut some of them off. The old roots are mushy. See, when you pull them, the velamen should come off the root. This thin part is the root, and this fleshy thing is the velamen. If it keeps coming off, that, uh, that means it's um, not that good, the root. You can just cut it off. Uh, and since it's got a lot of nice, good roots, and uh, all these roots, and you put them in the pot, especially some of them will just rot, so it's easier to tidy them all up when you're transplanting, so there's not too many dead roots in there. See, even though this looks mushy, see it's got a it's got the branching going on, and that's looking good. This is another one, looks mushy, but it's got branching going on over there. And I can't tell which is the Which is a good part, whether it's coming from this side or from this side. Okay, got it. Now the next question is what part size should I put it in? Now the part size depends on how you want to do it. Do you want to cut this, divide it, and make it uh, smaller so you can put it in two parts? Or do you want to just put them all in one big pot? Which you have to realize you need a big pot not only to fit this whole plant in and also to give it a couple of years grow space so that this one, if it's already hitting the side of the pot, means you I think I could pull off this one because see if I put in here there's like this much room in here for the plant new growth to for a couple of years so I think I could pull off on this one 
Because remember, if, if you use a very big pot, then you need, if you are growing them indoors, I don't know if you have enough um, room for your plants, or do you need to grow, or if you're growing outside and you have plenty of room and that's not a problem. And also the weight of the pot will be increased because of all the media in there. So it all depends on how you want it. Do you want a big plant or do you want two, two smaller plants? Do you want a specimen size plant? It all depends on how you want it. Now, if you do cut them down, you might um, be able to give one to your friend or, or you can keep it all to yourself. And without any much disturbance, you might be able to give this plant um, to produce. Like this case, there is one new growth right here and another one here. Now, if you were to cut this down in the middle, you know, the the flowers that it produces, it will be only on this one and this one. And if it's in two different pots, you may not have them all in the same pot. So that's what you have to decide how you want it. Do you want to divide it and have more than one of the same plant? Do you have enough room or do you want to just... Now, I could also take some of these old soda bulbs away it's not gonna do any and that also once it removes i'll get more room in this pot for the plant now remember this one is growing like like this like so if you want to mount it's a perfect candidate for mounting but i I'm not good with mounts and watering mount, mounted orchids because they need to be watered more often and regularly because otherwise they could dry off. And I do not, I cannot have mounted orchids because I do work all day. I mean, all week and I, have, I don't have time to come and water it every day. And they do keep them indoors. So in the, in the indoors in the winter time only outdoors in the summer in summer it's easy you can just take the hose and water it down but in winter when i bring them in it's kind of hard to mount to water mounted orchids and i feel that they dry out and get desiccated more easily than potted up orchids so i have given up on mounting orchids So I don't even like um, talk about mounds because like I said, mounds are not what easy for me. It's... Now, what I'm gonna do is, I don't know if I wanna, yeah, this, I think this is perfect. It has plenty room up front and I can put a slanting like this so the plant has, it's a climbing kind of growth habit. So I'm guessing this is good. Or do I need to bring a slightly smaller pot? Since I cut this area, I might as well spray hydrogen peroxide. Now this is hydrogen peroxide. 3%. I'm just going to spray this one over here where I cut it. And also along the roots, I didn't see any snails or anything in there. If it did hydrogen peroxide, should easily kill it. But I'm just spraying it just because of a precautionary measure. That's all, not because I've seen any snails or anything in there. Just clean off all the dry old sheet in here just to make it look nice and clean because they're gonna come out anyway. And once if you leave them on the plant itself, they are like a good hiding place for mealybugs and pests like that. So when you're cleaning, I mean, when you're repotting, it's a good time to clean up your plant and remove any of this old dry sheet as possible. I think this is good for now.
And if you're not sure, and especially if you don't have enough roots, and if you're not sure if your roots are healthy or not, you can just leave it. See, if I think this is not a healthy one, if you look at the tip of the of the root, you see it's got, um, it's rooting. So even though over here it looks like it's not good, see it's rooting over here. Now I have to be careful when I part it because some of these roots, they round, go round and round the part and may not make it. So if you want to cut it down, you can, but I'll just leave it on. So like I said, this bark, I think it's Orchera bark and it's really nice and firm. It's not breaking down at all. So I'm going to try and repot this in the same pot, I mean in the same bark. I'm also going to go get some other bark to put along with that. I could also use some styrofoam peanuts at the bottom because I don't want too many too many um, bark, wasting too much bark at the bottom or I could put uh, lecker pebbles at the bottom. So let me see what I can get. So here I have my orchid spray with hydrogen peroxide. I let it sit for a while. Now I've got my media ready. I'm using some lecker beads. So, um, this is from Ikea. In soaking in water, I have right uh, here. And I'm going to put some cinnamon powder on the area where I cut. Just on the area where I cut the old growth off. So just take this. And I know it's somewhere here. So this is the area where, where I cut this. and just tab it on there just to cover the cut area and that's all you need just to cover the cut area that should seal it off but now i'm going to get my media ready so here i have like this is the pot that i had uh i'll be using i'm gonna put some peanuts at the bottom Cover the base. I need more peanuts. Okay, so I have a lot more peanuts in here now. And what I'm going to be doing is put them into some black cup beads. And this is the media that I'm going to be using. This is a better grow orchid mix. So better go back with me. I'm gonna put that in there. Maybe I'll put it in here to see what it looks like. I'm not too happy with this media, but uh, because it's a big pot and I do not want to buy to fill it up with the orchidea bark because orchidea bark is very expensive. So just play this, place this on top. Remember the cut area of the old, where the old growth is, is gonna sit flush against the pot, back side of the pot. And uh, I'm going to fill in some of this and I'm going to make sure all of it so it just falls in just like that. I don't know what that is.
Now make sure you don't cover the rhizome of the plant. It has to stay above the media. And do not cover the old, I mean, new growth. And also make sure that you're very careful when you are planting them because the new shoots could snap and break easily and um, you want to try to avoid that at all costs. Now you could run a rice and clip on this or a pot clip whatever you, you want to do just to hold the plant in firmly in the pot. Let me see if I need to do that. I can stake them. I'm going to do, I'm going to have to get some kind of a twist tie to tie it in place. So, but you get the idea. So I'm going to have to get the twist tie. I don't see any around here. I know I have it somewhere. I have it somewhere, so I'll have to go get it. And you can either water the plant today after repotting it, or wait till it dries off all the cut areas, and and then water it in tomorrow because it had been soaking in water before I repotted it. It's got plenty of water and it's hydrated properly, so. I could come back and water it tomorrow instead of trying to do it now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it and clip it like this for now because the plant is just leaning over. Don't forget to put the label and you can take a black marker and write on it the day you repotted it. And today is July 4th. So I put the date on it and this is the name of the plant and you can put it in so you can see the label properly and um, might be a too big a pot I think but as long as I'm careful how I water it because um, it doesn't the plant doesn't matter how big the pot is and as long as you keep an eye on the watering system because it has to dry out after watering if it's too big a pot the middle of the pot won't dry out and that's why they recommend to use a smaller pot or a bigger media just so that the media dries out those cat layers do like to have water properly and once it's done it likes to dry out completely before you water it. So I'll go get a twist tie and tie it to the stake so it stands up properly. Um, other than that I'm all done and uh, 
All I have to do is now wait for the new I should hold it better all right so that's it thanks for watching everybody please subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up if you like it and uh, i do post uh, not that often once in a while i do post because uh, i do work and it's sometimes hard to do it all the time on a regular basis so but when i do please watch and um, give me a thumbs up if you like it and i hope to see you soon Thanks. Bye.